Hi right, guys, we're back at the um, Trifecta Silver, and uh, that's about a 1924-25 home, <laughs> which is good for Mercs, Wheats, um, possibility of Indians, you never know. Sorry for the traffic noise, nothing I can do, it's right beside it. Um... Guys, keep in mind, need all the prayers I can get. October 29th. And um, 90 days after that, from the way I understand, and a lot of physical therapy, then I should be back up and walking and uh, ready to get back out digging. I'm going to miss my winter digging and creek walking this year, most of it. But, um, I don't know, you know, maybe not. Maybe uh, Miss Lejeune can kind of take over and, and do what she does and <clears throat> and enjoy it. Um, and speaking of that, I'm going to ease back her way because it sounds like she got a pretty good signal. Um, so let's see if we can get over to her <clears throat> without uh, tearing anything up. Yes, I'm pretty bad about... Uh, Trying to tote too much stuff and falling with it and tearing it up. Uh, she calls me El Destructivo. <coughs> Let's see what you got, Miss G. What was your numbers on your Ace 300? 7980. 7980? <coughs> Big, small, sound like coin. Whew, sounds good. What you got? Ooh, what is that? A train. Huh? A train or something. A train? I guess what it is. Is it a train or a fire truck? I don't know. That's a fire truck. No way. Cool. That is cool. Let me put my shovel on the ground. Let's see that. I mean, it's obviously... Did you hit it? No. <clears throat> That's what it is. Look. This is an old fire truck. Engine number five, guys. Look at Miss Jean's find. It may be a little mangled. But, let's see if you can see the five. Come on, focus. Miss Jean. Miss Jean. This is engine number five. That is absolutely cool. That is way cool. You don't have to be going out finding silvers and seeds and large scents to have a lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people let YouTube stir, steer their finds that, you know, well, I want it, if I can't find those and I just don't want to hunt at all. Well, it is a you know, yeah, it is. I, look, at, look at the front of it right here. That may be the front of the, the grill and all. But look, see how it's shaped and all? Mm -hmm. That's engine number five. Great. I mean, that's a great find. <clears throat> but as I was saying, you know, a lot of newcomers, they, they let YouTube um, steer what they find. But you can, you know, it's according to who you watch. And, you know, it, it is good. It is awesome to find 1700s, 1600s, 1500s, 1400s. Um, stuff is Tonka. Yep. Now that's cool. It's a shame there wasn't in one piece, but we may can kind of, you know, straighten it out and get it back to looking a little bit like it. I wouldn't try here. You know what I mean? Great find. And that was right here at the truck. She's really good with her machine, and she's getting better and better as we go. And so I'm sure at some point in time. Uh, I'll be having to buy her an AT Max. Not bad. High five. Way to go. Alright guys, pushing on. And we'll see you on the next. Alright guys, we're back. Got two signals here. 
Um, not real good. Kind of jumpy, iffy signals. Let's see what happens, see what we'll pull out. Sorry for the uh, background noise right by highway. Can't get in close to you. It's got there. Ooh. And we have a tire weight. Tire weight for an automobile. 6970. So that comes in as, you know, a, a Civil War bullet, maybe. So let's see what we got in this one. I believe this is going to be small. You want me to pop that with a shovel? You got it? Okay. Hope it's something good, not uh, the base of a can. You know? <laughs> it could be anything. Um, that looks a little rusty right there. What, uh, it's just a part of a root. I moved it, it, whatever it was. Yeah, you moved it. Most definitely. And what do you have? A nail? Huh? Come on, let it be. Let it be a good button. Oh, what is it? What is it? I don't know what that might be. It looks like um a piece of something, maybe? <laughs> Off a belt? Is it a piece that, of something? Yeah, does that look like maybe a... It does, doesn't it? Yeah, like a... Part of a buckle? The, the centerpiece, maybe? Or the frame of it? That's more like a frame, well, don't it? Yeah. yeah. Could be a shoe buckle. Could be a uh, Civil War buckle. It could be a knapsack buckle. I don't know. It could be anything. All right, so not too bad on two signals, right? Right. I mean, junk, but yet they put off a good sound. Not deep. Ground's still dry down here. We haven't had any rain since the last video we posted. Um, they keep promising the cold front coming through, cold front coming through, a uh, bunch of rain coming with it, so let's see. Um, June and I were down at the Chattahoochee River the other day, and to be honest with you, it looks like Chattahoochee mud hole. It's pretty much dried up. They haven't, uh, the weekend, the Corps of Engineers did not generate uh, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, and the river was down pretty bad. I think maybe about midday Sunday they opened one one of the floodgates, Miss June. Yeah. Cracked it open just to get some flow of water in there. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty sad. Um, and I'm sure if, if we're not generating up here uh, from West Point down, West Point, Georgia, Alabama, right on the line. Um, if we're not generating... I'm sure Florida's catching a hard time down there with the uh, uh, oysters, clams, whatever it is, in the flats down there. All right, on to the next. All right, guys. Back to you. Whew. Yeah, well, excuse me, I'm out of breath. And yes, I did hit it. Uh, so, Brad Johns, don't feel bad. I even hit silver, man. So... Looks like down about four to six inches and looks like I drove a shovel. I don't know what that is. It's like a... Is it's a dime. A, is that a seated dime? It's a mark. And then there's one sideways right there, see? There's more than sure one. Sure is. <laughs> hey, look at this. Double dose on a Monday afternoon. Starting to rain just a tad bit down in Alabama. Can you see the two silvers in the hole? Can you see the double up? I kind of like that. That's the way it's done. That's the way Garrett machines find the good stuff. Through the hard, dry, compact. Let's see how deep we are. Turn that thing off. Just cheap ones. Taking all the money I can afford to 
get surgeries and stuff where I can walk better. Um, I would say four to six, I'd say six inches easy. But to me, I believe that's two seals down in there. So, let's see if we can get one of them out. Yes, I know. And yes, it's hard as a brick. And, I don't know, we may have to get some. Oh, it will come out. Did it? Yeah. Did I throw it? No, it's on the thing. Huh? I th it's in the thing. I Is it in the hole? Did up. you see it? Yeah, I see it when you come forward. Pull your camera back up just a little. All right, can you see it down in the hole mm -hmm. good? Mm -hmm. Come on toward me. There you go. All right, so we know it's right in here. Dump it right there, yeah, and right there, there she is. Did I hit it hard? Did you know what? I don't think I hit it. That is the second mark. Don't forget the <coughs> other one. Oh, we will. Let's take a look at this one, honey. Do you have your food close by? Uh-uh. Oh, wow, you gotta be kidding, right? Okay. And Miss Jean got a little bit warm this evening. Doesn't feel quite good, so. Mm. 